It's the sound of trumpets and stuff again. Spilling into five ten. Welcome back. Let's play Pokemon Ruby. Yeah. Last time we went for the Safari Zone, and now uh, I guess the head looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, Team Magman. Team Magman. What? Magma Grunts, oh bollocks. Team Magma Grunts went towards Mount Pyre, and we decided to say, eh, screw it, Safari, instead. But I guess we gotta go make sure they aren't up to no good. Probably still are, let's be real. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mind me, I'm just checking for... Just checking for things we haven't run into yet. And there's nothing! So that's good. This thing will probably outspeed me, so let's just try to kill you instead. Well, that wouldn't have done anything anyway, because Steel-type, yeah! There we go. Air Cutter! Well, that move is still technically physical in this game, at least. Hacks with Razor like Wind has a high crit rate. Unfortunately, Fly is better. I, uh... Meant to not learn it. I think Air Cutter is also one of those moves that uh, targets both Pokemon and doubles fights. So Mount Pyre is up, uh, we actually want to go down the 123. Uh, for reasons that, uh, well, really just have to do with this woman here. I love Grass-type Pokémon. Do you have any Grass-type Pokémon? Oh, you like Grass-type Pokémon too, don't you? I'm so happy you can have this. It's a token of our friendship. This is the TM-19 Giga Drain. I check, I check trees with my Grass-type Pokémon. I'm like a tree doctor. Yeah, uh, all you need is a Grass-type Pokemon, and she'll give you the TM for Giga Drain, which is... Fine. It's... it's... I actually don't think it's fine. Isn't it still, like, only five uses in this game? It... it's an... it's an absorb move. Those suck. Well, Swalot can learn it. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, only five, five uses, 60 power. Uh, it's, it is legitimately bad. It didn't get good until, I don't think it got good till Gen 5. Because I think at Gen 4, they buffed the, the uh, use is up to 10, but it was still bad because it was still only 60 power. <coughs> anyway, we are now officially in Mount Fire. It is your standard, hey, dead Pokemon are here place. Uh... What we wanted was that carpeted area over there, but instead we're going to just ignore it. Hey, you searching for Pokemon? You came along after me! You're rude! I really didn't, but sure. Inside Mount Pyre itself are- oh fuck, level 32. <laughs> Doesn't help that Hariyama's my only answer to this thing. Why is it not a rock head in there? Uh... Oof. Levels of just oof. That, that were right there. Or fucking omnipresent right there. I'm sorry, forgive me, please! 
I got mad money out of it, so that was worth it to me. Drink this. Got, got 200 HP hyper potions are still the best. Ultra Ball. Right, I can skip. So that's a double battle, but the way they work in Ruby and Sapphire, I can skip it. Yeah. Game mechanics. Here's Duskull. After this is done, I kind of feel like playing Emerald, not on channel, but like, there's definitely like a bunch of Pokemon I would actually like to try to beat, beat Emerald with, like, probably be like, um, Dusclops, Giraffe Rig, or like two of them that I'm just like thinking of using. Cause it's like, oh, it's just a group of Pokemon that I haven't used before. Don't know what it would do. Don't know what the out the rest of that team would end up being, but hey, it it'd be I think it'd be fun. Like I don't think either of those two Pokemon are bad. And if you're playing Sapphire, at least for right now, the only Pokemon you'd be running into is Shuppet instead. Free. Super Repel. I should probably use one of those. Oh well. Let's ignore you, I guess. I guess. Let's ignore you, I guess. Uh, so, according to the guide, this would be the fourth floor of the... Of the... Temple? Do you call this a temple? I guess you'd call it a temple. Just be being that silent. It's an honor. I'm, res I'm respecting the peace of the departed. Get off my case. Now that we're up on these higher floors, we should have access to, or you should have access to, either Shepard or Duskull, regardless of what version you're playing. Guide says that, at least. It has been wrong before. God bless Prima Guides. Going to look this up. As I uh, as I just mash buttons. So there are chances of them showing up, but it's rare. It's like 10%. Which, uh, according to the Prima Guide, is very common, apparently. <laughs> oh, fucking Prima Guides, dude. Never fucking change. Please change. Hey, look! There's the- there's Condomon right now! Davra, okay. Uh, just murder you with murder you with Skarmory. Ah, shit.
There's the future side that didn't go off. I don't think it had done much, but losing I just like. That sure was, that sure was amulet coin boosted, by the way. So why do we come all this way? Uh, for this. The TM for Shadow Ball, which the guide calls Shadow Punch for no fucking reason. Uh, it's still as broken as it was in Gen 2. As in, it doesn't work like the way it probably was meant to. It's a good move, and it can potentially lower special defense. There's just one problem. It's a physical attack, because it's a ghost-type move. So the Pokemon that I can teach it to, you know, the Pokemon I'm not going to teach physical moves to. Oops. Lacks in sense. I think this works just like the amulet coin? Hold on, it slowly lowers the foe's accuracy. What the fuck is this? I remember, like, some of the incenses are used to... Are used, uh, to be held by Pokemon and just breed like baby forms? I don't remember which or which. I know, like, you give the sea incense to Meryl and you get Azrael. I don't know why you would want it, besides Pokedex completion reasons. Because Azrael is bad, but... remember which way this is supposed to work. Alright. Here we go. There's the sea incense. Did you just get all the incenses here? It makes sense, holy mountain. Now we're back on floor one. And we can't run in here because... It's a building. Oh man, I forgot Mount Pyre had its own theme. Damn, that's cool. So while on the wall, there's patches of grass, but more importantly, there's TM48, which is skill swap. Okay. Skill swap switches abilities with. makes you swap your ability with your opponent, or whatever you're targeting. There's cool things that can be done with it, but not necessarily in single player. I wanna see if I can get into stuff, because there are new stuff to find out, but it's just gonna be a bunch of dust calls, I guess. Okay. Well. The two new Pokemon on this route, or I'm going to just like try and get... I say route, it's just this part of the... It's just this part of the mountain. The first is a Pokemon we've encountered way early in the game called Metatite, a fighting psychic Pokemon. Which... You know, Metatite and Metacham are are perfectly fine. I think if you wanted a fighting or psychic type, you've had you, you definitely had your fill. But like, if you were wanting to wait until oh now, you won't be disappointed in Metacham, mostly because its typing is interesting enough to me. You were like always getting confused. And its ability, pure power, lets it uh, hit harder if it's physical attacks, which is a good thing because Metacham, I believe, is a mixed attacker. Being part psychic and part fighting will help with that distinction. Uh, I don't think it's got like move pull issues or anything like that either.
I can't find it, so I'm not going to know. problem that like Meditite Metatam does have is like most of its best moves are most of its natural best moves are learned on the way as Meditite. You get access to you get access to elemental punches uh, by move tutors Metacham, but uh If you wanted to like do mixed things, well, you kind of have to get the elemental punches for that because it doesn't learn psychic mo moves in and of themselves. But well, not outside of not outside TMs anyway. But Metachamps, Metachamps like fine. And, like there isn't really a Pokemon on this route besides Wingle that I would like not recommend because they're all just like fairly solid where's the offer review i'm just finding random stuff on these gravestones <laughs> you're really just going to only give me fucking dust skulls huh i guess they are the most likely thing to run into the other Pokemon on this route is Vulpix, which is a pure fire type, a, a classic one for all the way from Gen 1. And Vulpix is fine. It's not as good as it was back in Gen 1 because special attack and special defense split, but Vulpix is still perfectly serviceable. The problem is uh, it's a stone evo, so those things don't learn anything by level up. So, you'll probably have to invest a few TMs into it, but honestly, they're the kind of TMs you would want to invest into a fire type anyway, so that's not necessarily a strike against it. Lumpix is good, it's more especially tanky than especially offensive, but oh, hey, look, here it is. It's still cute, though. It's still, like, really cute, though. Lumpix is. Lumpix is a good. Is a good Pokemon that I've like. I've used I've used one before, like Gen 4. Like this thing has been really good to me. It's also dead, uh, but I shouldn't have been surprised by that. I don't think, because like it gets its really good special defense when it evolves. You need a Fire Stone to do it though, and like, which you would have by this point if you've done Fiery Path. That's out of the way. Oh boy. Just ignore the magma grunt for now. Because there's grass here. This is an entirely different route. The mountain summit. It's still either Duskull or Shuppet. But there is one other new Pokemon on this route. That is bad. It's, it's Chimeco. It's... Pure psychic type, and I am not going to talk bad about its theme, like being a chime Pokemon on a holy mountain. I can I can dig the thematics of it, but it doesn't it doesn't evolve, which it doesn't evolve into anything. It evolves from a Pokemon called Chingling, which doesn't exist yet. That, cause that was, cause God, fucking. <sighs> Baby forms were a fucking mistake. Except for Munchlax. Munchlax is the son, or sorry, the grandson. And you will never, and you will never get away from me if you talk shit about it. 
Uh, what are your stats? Oh. They are... Mm, pretty... Meh. Nice. Nice having a fucking... They got buffed in like Gen 7. To like be slightly bulkier. But... It's best stat is special attack in 95. But it's just like not... Fa like... If you don't, if, like, I have problems with Gardevoir's speed not being as high as I remember it being. Like, Gardevoir's speed is 80. Chimeco is slower than this and does not have the stats, does not have the bulk stats to, like, make up for that either. So, like, I would say, I would take Metacham's special attack over this thing. And personally. And also, you can do more with a Pokemon like Metacham or any other psychic type in this thing. Except probably Zatu, because Zatu still has fucking moveful issues. That is all the new Pokemon, so... I'll show you exactly how scary Team Egg would be- Dude, I've kicked your organization's ass literally every time I have encountered you. Please try your best. You're going to fail so fucking miserably. Oh yeah, I'll show you how scary Team Magma is. Throws out a pair of Zubats that can't even outspeed the whale. Whale's just too good. Like... I shouldn't be surprised. Whale whale's amazing. Zoo bats. Like, not even level 30 goal bats, man. Come on. Come on. Forty-five speed is outspeeding zoo bats. So you think you can stand up alone in G Magma's my Well, if you are my only competition, sir, I think I'm in good hands. Yeah, I knew there was something here. Okay, I guess there's nothing else there. Alright. What's up with you? What does a single kid expect to do? Uh, judging from every other grunt I've ever fought, a lot. Uh, there's a lot I can do. I hate this so much. Like, why, dude? Every time, every time, it's like, these are Pokemon that should have, well, Nummel is like 33 or so, like, that thing shouldn't have evolved by now. I guess the hope not. I'm casually checking real quick. Yeah, 33 abs, right? Dang, too strong. But like, but also like, like, grunts are never a threat. Like in like, hey, I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. Well, I don't remember you, so because you look like literally everyone else. This is no it's just that simple. There's like nothing to this. Urgh, beaten by some kid again. Yeah, you were. Something over here. Oh, it's just more grass. Good, cause the last, cause the thing that I absolutely needed in this game is more chances to catch fucking Jimeco. 
Something off to... Oh, it's more grass, but there might actually be something over there. Not you again. You've impaired our plans repeatedly, but this time you're too late. The blue orb that rested the top on fire. I, Maxi, claim it is mine! <laughs> Finally, I can realize my grand design. Come on, crew! It's Slateport next! Oh no, this cannot happen. How could they take the blue orb? The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. Hmm. Fine, you take the remaining red orb. Please take after that foul man and get the other orb back. Okay, cool. Uh... There's like something over here. This, I swear to God, it's better not to be more catch, chances to catch fucking Chimeco of all things. I'm gonna be actually upset. Me not using the item finder to look around for this. It's just more chances to catch fucking Chimeco. God, why does it? Why do I exist? Why do I exist just to be put through this level of pain? Let's get off this damn, let's get off this damn mountain. Because... I need to go right now down. I forget if running through grass like increases encounter rates. I know it makes trainers, like, notice you because you're, like, you're running and making noise. It's always a thing that I thought was the case, but I'm, but, like, I have nothing to back that up. Just besides what I think is logic and, you know, that always works well for me in these games, huh? Oh, fuck off, Dusko. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'll see you when I play Emerald again. Ah! Now for all this bullshit. So, uh, you're supposed to go back to Slateport, however, uh, I'm gonna keep going to the right. Because I don't want to trek all the way for fucking round 121 again. Because, <laughs> uh, there's a city over to the right that I want to get the fly spot for. So I don't have to go for Route 121 again. Here we go. Hey, we made it to Lily Cove City. So, yeah, that'll do it for now. Next time let's play Pokemon Ruby. We'll, I guess, not stop Team Magma and Slateport, because apparently they seem to be getting the upper hand on us. I, I, pl I blame this time. It was, just, it was just looking for Chimekos. Chimekos is the source of all the problems in the Pokemon universe. It's, re it's really not. I'm just... I'm just being a shitter. I'm Vinny125. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>